My name is Andriy Smirnov. I am from Ukraine. I teach history at the National University of Ostroch Academy. And also I am a member of the Synodal Commission for Inter-Christian Relations of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine. So can you please tell us what is Pathways to Peace and why is it important for the European churches? Yes, I guess it's very important for Ukraine and for Ukrainian churches to have the support from European community and from the Conference of European Churches. We are very grateful to the leadership of the Conference of European Churches and for this initiative to support Ukraine. Because it is injustice war, uh, it's a genocidal war, uh, Russia's war against Ukraine, and we need this political, economical and spiritual support. So we are grateful for the solidarity. Pathways to Peace uh, has three goals to uh, make a network of intellectuals and uh, church leaders, uh, to advocate um, rebuild, uh, destroyed religious uh, places and temples in Ukraine, and to contribute to rethinking uh, the concept of just peace and other concepts of uh, peace in the world, uh, because it's very difficult in uh, Ukrainian uh, circumstances uh, to be a pacifist. So all Christians in Ukraine are fighting uh, against uh, aggression, and uh, many Ukrainian Christians are in the Ukrainian army or serve as uh, military chaplains in Ukraine. Pathways to Peace also represents church solidarity for Ukraine. What does it mean for your own church in your own country? Yes, I represent the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, which received full independence and Thomas of autocephaly from the Ecumenical Patriarchate in uh, 2019. So uh, it's a very new, uh, a very young, a church, but we applied for the membership to the Conference of Euro uh, European Churches and now we are a full member of this European Church community and uh, we try to, to uh, uh, be very active, a new member of the Conference of European Churches and to take part in, in all your events and I am a member of the steering group uh, Pathways to Peace initiative and uh, we are preparing, preparing uh, new uh, uh, projects, initiatives uh, and programs for Ukraine. We know that the war has caused a lot of devastation and human suffering. Um, as a Christian, where do you see the hope? We hope in God. <laughs> we, we, we believe in God and His mercy, and His love. What is impossible for man is possible for God, because He is Almighty God. So we pray. We pray for Ukraine and we pray for the peace in Ukraine.